So you may have heard about a supplement called creatine. This is a, a supplement that's often used by people looking to get stronger, looking to build bigger muscles, looking to improve their physical performance. But what about the health benefits of this supplement? Is it worth taking this not just to improve your performance, your muscles, your body composition, but to improve your health span? Not just your lifespan, but your health span. How long you can live and how well you can live. Now, high performance athletes and gym junkies know a lot of the benefits of exercise. In fact, it's been said that this is the most researched supplement for improving your overall performance. There are some benefits that these sort of populations will get. These include things like an increased ability to exercise at a higher intensity, increases in lean muscle mass, increases in strength, increases in your power and movement speed, increases in your cardiorespiratory fitness. A whole range of benefits for these athletic populations. But let's look at some of the benefits for your long-term health. But first, if you are new to the concept of creatine, if you are new to this supplement, let's just do a very basic overview of what it actually is. It normally comes in a white powdered form. It's an organic compound, which basically means it's produced inside your body. It's produced in the kidneys and then finished off in the liver. Uh, but we don't actually produce enough creatine to be able to have all of the health and physical performance benefits that we can get. So we, we tend to consume extra creatine from the food that we eat, primarily in red meat, in poultry, and in fish. But the amount of creatine that a lot of people take in in their diet is not sufficient. So they often supplement it with a supplement called creatine monohydrate. So let's push these performance and aesthetic benefits of this supplement aside and explore the health benefits. Here's a quick snapshot, a quick summary of the research. Supplementing with creatine has been shown to increase your cognitive function, improve your mood, improve your memory, increase your intellectual capabilities. It can help to reduce mental fatigue and it can protect against a whole range of diseases, including Alzheimer's, Huntington's disease and Parkinson's disease, lateral sclerosis, forms of coronary heart disease and arteriosclerosis, stroke and other forms of cerebrovascular diseases. And it's also been shown to reduce lipid levels in the blood of people who have high lipids. It can be used with people who already have a certain medical condition to help to treat the symptoms. This is the case in conditions like muscular dystrophy, traumatic brain injury, spinal cord injury, seizures, pulmonary disease, and any sort of muscular or soft tissue injury that you might sustain. So these benefits are absolutely compelling and they fall into three areas. Firstly, it creates some sort of improvement in, in your abilities currently. Secondly, it can be used to help to prevent the onset of certain diseases. And finally, it can be used as a form of treatment for these conditions. But of course, if we go full circle to where we started talking about this topic, we talked about it being used by athletes. And although we may not all be athletes looking to win a gold medal or run 100 meters as fast as we can to lift a heavy weight over our heads, these physical capacities are actually really beneficial as we get into our later years. If, you are, if you're stronger, if you're faster, if you're more powerful, you are harder to kill, you are less likely to die. And of course, just as importantly, you're going to extend your health span, how long you live well. Now this can be also a great supplement for vegans or vegetarians, people on restrictive diets who remove certain animal products from what they are eating. Because you're not consuming some of these sources of creatine, you're able to supplement with these. The vast majority will be vegan and uh, vegetarian friendly. Uh, to enable you to get some of these compounds that you may be missing in your normal diet. So the benefits seem really clear, but it is normal and it's, it's natural. And in fact, it's a good idea to really question the safety of these supplements. So let's take it straight from the source, from the International Society of Sports Nutrition. They tell us that, and I quote, there is no scientific evidence that the short or long-term use of creatine monohydrate has any detrimental effects on otherwise healthy individuals. So it gets the big tick in terms of safety.